There are two hurdles in anime. One Piece and Gundam. I am now going to cross into Gundam. Hello, I am Ben from Boomer Base, a complete Gundam novice. After watching Gundam Requiem for Vengeance and reviewing a franchise such as Gundam as a complete noob, I was overwhelmed with how amazing the community was. All these recommendations, positive attitudes, it was something that I haven't always seen as an anime fan. To be completely frank, the only other Gundam series I have seen through some research is the Mobile Suit Gundam Origin Advent of the Red Comet. Join me as I discover Gundam for the first time. I hope this wonderful community continues to help me along this journey. Guide me as I embark on what I hope is a fantastic journey. Today I am here to talk about episode 2 of Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin, Artesia's Sorrow. Three years have passed since the escape from side 3 on Munzo, Casfell and Artesia have fled to Earth with Jimbal Rao and had taken refuge with Tia Bolo Mass, which I have to say, he surprised me a lot. I thought he was going to be a right dick, but he wasn't, and that was weirdly refreshing. Casfell and Artesia are now called Eduard and Sailor, but sadly the Zabi family are still plotting evil schemes and are being pursued by them. Side 3 has also been renamed as the Autonomous Republic of Zeon. Cool name, I do have to say, like, it's, you know, a bit wordy, but still cool. The Zabi family are in control and they begin to work on a new weapon called the Mobile Worker to combat Earth's Federation forces. I have to say I'm loving the support from episode 1. I can see that episode 2 is the shortest of these movies. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't to follow me on this journey. So episode 2, what did I think? I liked the recap of episode or movie 1 if you like at the beginning, although I feel it maybe wasn't warranted. I don't know how much time there was between movie 1 and movie 2, so maybe it was warranted at the time because I watched this basically just after the first one, so it didn't feel like I needed it. Jim Rao is a phantom and crackhead old guy at this point which is kind of sad to see he still sees a chance of winning and taking back what he had but from my side I don't think that's the best course of action Casfell has certainly become a giant boy now Tia Bolo on the right pursuit trying to put a stop to this old Jimba and his kooky schemes like I don't know what he's thinking like he can just compromise everything Artesia seems to have fallen like ill or something I don't know if that's like for for warning something but I don't want her to randomly die of some illness at a young age that would be a really shit development for her in my eyes at least and you know obviously what do you know it causes harm to the kids old Jimba and his kooky schemes and it nearly does get them killed I do actually kind of hate that type of cliche and I was happy that Jimba died to be fair so sorry if you liked him or that's a harsh viewpoint if Tia Bolo had died honestly I would have rioted for knowing that man all of 20 minutes I adore him randomly and even after the fight scene and um, I was happy to see when he was wheelchair bound that he had lost some weight which from an earlier scene was kind of adorable as they mentioned about him losing some weight. Let's get back to the fight scene with the Knight versus Casfell and Artesia, or should I just say Casfell, as Artesia just does nothing and all she does is her annoying let's just scream and compromise everything and be useless woo i do honestly hope that if she doesn't die of an illness she actually grows up to become useful now i don't think she'll be like a badass fighter or anything but like maybe a medic or something like that she seems to be interested at in some form of like looking after people at the beginning of the episode like i imagine she might become like a princess leia maybe type of or padme sort of character but with a bit more of a doctor medic side now i have to say castle puts in the business to defeat the knight or the knight in armor but i did enjoy the kind of creepy spooky aspect of this it did feel like a, a scooby-doo chase scene with a knight in armor but with actual risk as obviously some people died after the ordeal despite it not being in the best favor for you know casfell and artesia move into side five the texas colony fuck that was a terrible accent please ignore that i do on the other hand think that moving there is the right decision for just the family as a whole at the moment i enjoyed the melancholic sort of vibes of the bar scene and then it became better with Ramba basically beating up a bunch of people like he's got one man army pro from Modern Warfare 2. Seeing Dozel again was 
probably my favourite part of the episode. The mobile suit worker scene, and scene should I say, was probably actually the best part of the episode. Um, it was great to see where the mobile suit started and how they were just sort of melee orientated and connected to things like they couldn't you know, be doing space combat. It was definitely very cool to see its sort of starting point and that was sort of the only real sort of robot sort of fighting we got this episode and even the minimal part that we did get was really good. The fight scene was really good. Choreography was really, really good. And to be honest, I'm not minding that there isn't so much sort of like war or you know mech fighting and stuff I'm enjoying it it's a bit like Game of Thrones for me like I'm enjoying the sort of political part as well as the action stuff that we do get sprinkled in I wonder if the kid with the sort of harrow robot toy thing that at the sort of um, I don't know, airport type of thing will become important later as he did seem a bit too significant to be nothing like we didn't see him for the rest of the episode so I don't know I do hinder that he might be or uh, the the guy that pilots the white devil thing but I don't know he seems kind of young and I don't really know the difference in age between Shah and the guy that pilots the mobile suit Gundam white devil thing so I might just be looking for you know things to connect things whilst just knowing completely nothing to be fair so if it is not important just ignore me I do feel sorry for Casfell and Artesia's mother shit is not looking good for her I imagine she would die quite soon but didn't expect it to be this episode I thought that was going to be for like next episode meeting this Shah guy was also very cool he doesn't seem like a bad guy at all but they weirdly look too similar so I wonder what's going to happen there but the scene with Casfell beating up the cowboy dude at the bar and the teacher being afraid of him I love seeing scenes like this I love seeing Casfell like this. I wonder if Casfell is Shah in itself or like is Shah gonna get murdered or is you know Casfell gonna become Shah? Like in all honesty I've got too many ideas floating through my head of what possibility it could be. It could be like any number of things. Casfell saying he was going to leave at the end of the episode was quite a shock. Um, I didn't think he would leave his sister. That didn't sort of feel like his character but he's certainly changing and giving that sort of like edgy Sasuke vibes for me at least. But honestly another really quality episode I'm still really enjoying it. I'm going to be trying to get these out weekly as best as possible. And I hope that the people t tuning in are enjoying the series or watching me go through this. Let me know any suggestions or things I've missed down below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow me on all other social media. Peace out. Hey, thank you for watching the video. Click the button to keep watching or click the other video for more videos. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.